Hello fellow coding pirates and welcome back to a new episode. In this episode I will show you how to create a call to action section with a background that moves on scroll and I will also show you how to incorporate your blog posts into a custom WordPress template. So let's get started. In the past episode we created this section. So let's add our new section under this. So while we have our client logos, come underneath and create a new section. So div class and we will call this call to action. Ooh, call CTA. And the reason why it's called a call to action is because we want the visitor to do something. And in this instance, we want them to get in contact with us. Send to this text of class. And then create a H2 tag. And let's copy what they have in the design. So they have something, client share, pass me to the list. Okay, I'll just make up some text here because that's a bit long winded. Share our passion. Um, and get in touch today. Okay, that sounds rubbish, but that's fine. And then let's create a button which would be used to send maybe to your contact page. And I believe it's called button yellow. And we can say get in touch. And close the center text div. Save and let's look at what we've just created. Okay, so obviously our button class is called something different. Let me scroll up to the very top and where's the header? Is it in here? Okay. Change this to button and button. There you go. And we need to add an image, image background here. And the image I've provided is in the Dropbox folder, which the link can be seen below. So if you haven't got that already, pause this video, go below, click that get your image and then upload it like this. So go to your dashboard, your media and add new. Then find where that image is saved and drag and drop it here. Click on the edit button. Press Command and A or Control and A on a PC. Control and C or Command and C to copy. Now go back to your homepage. Open up your code editor and create a class for CTA. So create a class all the way at the bottom. Scroll down, CTA, background, URL, quotes, and then paste the link and write no repeat background position, center, center, background size, cover, and background position, set this to, oh no, I've already set that, okay, yeah, that's fine. And let's add a padding of 60 pixels on top and zero to the side. Let's see what that looks like. I 
okay it's not quite as big as we need so let's have a look mm, maybe 100 so we change this pad into 100 and add color of white so fff save Let's add slightly more text to this call to action. Um, make a space, br, and say, Shadow Passion, get in touch today. We are the world's best um, business consultants. Full stop, save that. Okay, and then we want to add a margin to the button, so CTA button, and say margin top of 40 pixels. Save that. Okay, I think that looks good. I think the padding is slightly too much now. So let's take that down to 80. And one last thing, add a background attachment of fixed. So right now the background moves with the page. Save this. And you can see that it has a different behavior now. So as you scroll, the background is underneath the content. So I think it looks much nicer like that. Maybe we can adjust the spacing on this button to be slightly less. I think that looks better. So now let's look at our design. So we have a recent news section which pulls in blog posts. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. So come back to our code editor, go to our home page and create a new section. Don't worry about this code under here for now. I've added it in to make our lives e easier. Div class, section, section white. And comment this. Add a container again. Finally, a center text. And a h2 tag for the title of recent posts. And then come outside of the center text, create a new div called blog posts. Close this off, blog post. Come above this, create a new class, the clear class. Clear. And the reason we're doing this is because the elements above this are gonna start to float when we add them in. Uh, clear. So let's space this out a bit so you can see. We've created a new section with a section white, a container, center text below that center text is a uh, container for the blog posts inside of this blog post container is a clear class which will clear our floated elements which we add above now to add a blog post to a custom template you have to put in a bit of php and um, because this is a beginner tutorial i've already wrote the php which you need i'll paste this in here and explain uh, slightly what each part of it does and you can go to the Dropbox folder, which I'll include a link to, and you can simply paste this code in without having to type it in. I would recommend typing it in first if you can see the code which I paste. And if it doesn't work, then just copy and paste it in and see what you did wrong. Okay, so this code will be in the Dropbox folder. Um, I'll call it blogpost.html. So go into that file, copy everything inside it, and then paste it in between this blog post section here. So 
I'll create a class div no nope. paste this in first and you won't have those little comment arrows so your code will look like this so what basically this does it creates a custom query which then loops through the WordPress uh, posts to check if you have any posts while you have posts so if you do have posts and the number we have set here is free posts so it shows free posts on the home page um, do this little block of code in you so we could say while there are um, less than three posts print out the word hello oh. save this and because right now I only have one blog post they should only print out once so let's have a look right now there's nothing here so let's refresh this page okay so you can see the recent posts and you can see the hello so first of all let's create free dummy posts go to the dashboard go to posts and add a new post um, post 2 and let's get some dummy content from Laura Mipsum this copies a little bit of this Hello, what's going on paste it in here we can add a category if we want we can say business add new category we can set a featured image but right now there's no need just simply click publish and add a third post um, finance journal 2018 no idea paste the dummy text in again select the business category if you want and publish again go back to posts and let's add a bit of content for this hello world post change the name to stock market highs Ooh. explained I don't know update again okay so go back to our home page scroll down so we have hello printed out three times great so now what we want to do is create our design so let me put some comments in you so when you get this bit of code you'll know where to put the uh, sections in um, we can say individual posts here so the great thing about this is we only have to write out the code once rather than three times as it loops end of individual posts and if I spelled that wrong I don't care individual posts yeah that's fine so our design that's a third mm, you know, it's the title okay so to make this simple guys in the video not run on too long I'll just make a section which has the title a little bit of the excerpt and a read more button rather than putting custom dates in getting the comment section um, the user image and the username because I haven't set that up on this custom blog yet uh, maybe I'll come back to it in the future but it's just for you to get the hang of this part so let's create a article class of individual post and inside this individual post is going to be a title so let's put that make that title title clickable so we'll put the that for now and we'll set this as a set this as a h2 tag and inside is the link so um we'll put a dummy text now oh no we may as well put the PHP the title close off the anchor and then close off the h2 let me see if that's worked first of all should have yep great come outside of this article and create the div class width 33 
come under the article and close that div off. And indent this by selecting this and pressing the tab button. So now the element should be floated. Let's have a look. Great. What does the design look like? It's fine. So under here, let's create a new div of div class excerpt. PHP the excerpt excerpt I spelled that wrong. And finally a read more button, so a href. Um, PHP the underscore permalink and that gives you the link to this article and then for the uh, anchor link read more so you can check if it links to the right place Post two goes to post two that you can see down here. If you check down here, ooh. and hello world goes to hello world, which we didn't change. Finance journal. If you click on it, it goes to finance journal, which is here. Ooh. So we go back. Let's style this slightly. So individual post. Let me get the color. What we need is the light gray. Set the background. Um, we'll set a padding, maybe 40 pixels, and a border radius, 5 pixels, and refresh this page. Cool. Let's make these uh, titles slightly smaller. Mm, 20 pixels. I think that looks okay. So to do that, let's space this out so you can see more. Individual post says H2. Font size, I think we said 20 pixels. Color, what was the color we needed? I think it's the dark blue which we've been using. Nope, oh, wrong one. Hash and then paste that in. Um, actually, I think we need to do this on the anchor. Okay. Individ Dual post. So set the color and text decoration. Nope. To none. And we should have something that looks slightly better now. Okay. A slight line here which we can add that's fine to copy this go into our home page template and under the excerpt 
we can add a HR class of grey border that will give us something that goes the entire width so I believe we have to set a width on that let me just check grey border let's say width of 100 pixels text align left maybe why is that going like that hmm Margin zero, so zero top, zero right, ten pixels bottom, zero. Mm. Okay. Okay, add a margin of thirty pixels and zero. And background color of what we said earlier. So go to our CSS, select gray border, and paste in or copy what I just wrote. Just control and S and then. refresh the page okay so right now the excerpt is pulling in way too much text if you look at our design it brings in three lines at most mm -hmm. sorry my phone just ran off let me put that on silent okay so to do that just use a bit of googling um short and expert excerpt length repress and monocycle small envelope dot com. I've never used this before, but I can see it as the code we want because I've uh, used this before. Um okay so this is the one we need guys I'll put this also in the Dropbox and we need to add this code for functions.php so go to our root folder find the functions scroll down to the bottom and paste in this so we've created a new function called custom exit length and we've set that to 20 and save that and let's see what that gives us okay so we can go smaller again let's try 15 so change the return from 20 to 15 okay that's better you can see here guys that the boxes have uh, a different height there's a great um, JavaScript library which we can use to make every one of these po boxes the same height. It's called match.js and I will show you how to use that in future tutorials. I use it all the time on my sites and my client sites and it just makes it look slightly neater. So finally what we need to do here is to add a space between this and this box. So see if you can uh, work out how to do that. I'll give you a few seconds and then if not I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so let's close the functions down. Um, earlier on, we created a container called blog posts. So under here, blog posts, and say margin top are 40 pixels. Save that. And that will give us a nice bit of space in between here. Let's see if it matches our design. Mm. yeah I'd say so I'd say in our design this text is bigger but 
we can get to that later okay so is there anything else we need to do at this point Let's, let me check the design okay so on the design um, the, the blog posts are in the slider so if we clicked one of these icons more blog posts would come up I think we'll keep that for another tutorial um, that's another uh, library which we can use and I've used that in the past to create sliding you know element so we'll leave this tutorial where we are I think uh, we've gone over enough in this one in the next tutorial I will show you how to create a contact form using a plugin called contact form 7 which I use once again on my site and my client sites it's very reliable it's easy to use and customize and then from there we can create a, a newsletter subscription we could even hook it up to MailChimp or something like that show you how to incorporate your social media channels and then finally we'll finish off with the footer so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys if you'd like to see more please subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button now and if you wouldn't mind please also hit the like button as it will help others find my channel Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you in the next episode.